What are the known wisdoms behind male circumcision? Cleanliness is well known. What about reducing sexual desire? Is there any known relation? To my knowledge, no, there isn't any uh, known relation to sexual desire for men. For women, as you know, that circumcision is not mandatory. It is recommended, but it is not mandatory. And the scholars say that circumcision for women is beneficial for some uh, women because it reduces their sexual uh, desire. And exceeding the limit in circumcision, this would make her desire zero, which is very bad, and the Prophet ﷺ forbade from that. So what uh, should be circumcised is a very small bit of it and not uh, a lot. As for men, I do not know any uh, anyone that said that it reduces the sexual desire for men. I don't think that this is the case, but it is part of nature, and that is why uh, uh, the Prophet ﷺ uh, obligated it, it is mandatory for men to, uh, circ to to be circumcised and that is what uh, prophet Ibrahim did and the narration say that he did that when he was 80 years of age and of course cleanliness purity and uh, also I posted in my Facebook about a couple of months ago that I think in Zimbabwe the president and the parliament are encouraging people after a study published by the United Nations stating that circum uh, circumcised people are less to be uh, inflicted with AIDS. So now it, there is a campaign in the uh, parliament. Everyone, members of the parliament, are uh, undergoing circumcision in this old age of theirs, though they're not Muslim, simply because the study uh, uh, says that being circumcised protects greatly from uh, catching a, uh, HIV uh, positive or, or the AIDS, alhamdulillah, I don't know, no.